um, it's also an indication that when you are in a hole, often indifference is in there with you. is a summary of a letter that I wrote about a project that is in the deepest, darkest, most expensive hole of my experience. The letter was 10 or 11 pages long and I was worried that it was too long to be read, so this song is a little bit shorter. Friends I was proud to call my own We all blew the whistle We raised lots of flags Punished are we now and on our own The verses of this song are about stupidity And the harm come to my friends I pointed it out we found the truth together, one by one we asked for help. And what happened next is we were fired and retired and harassed and mistreated, told to vote with our feet, made to fold paper airplanes, put on a zipper list, and we were scattered about. I knew a dedicated team of engineers. Friends, I was proud to call my own. We all blew that whistle. We raised lots of flags. Punished are we now and all alone. If you build it first, find out later it won't work. You have a government model called design build. No matter that it's fit for only simple things like parking lots and not the nuclear world. I knew a dedicated team of engineers. Friends, I was proud to call my own. We all blew that whistle. We raised lots of flags. Punished are we now and on our own. If 
you put the construction company in charge of your design the owner and the worker have no say you get just what they give you and when the problems start the taxpayer will pay and pay and pay I knew a dedicated team of engineers Friends I was proud to call my own We all blew that whistle We raised lots of flags and punished are we now and on our own For nuclear work high quality is everything And the safety folk must help out every day and if you leave them out when you try to start your plant like Groundhog Day. Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your new schedule assessment program. Don't forget your new EFRT issue response plan. Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your new broad-based review plan, your new requirements verification, reliability validation, managed improvement, co corrective action plan. Like Groundhog Day, you have to start again, and again, and again. Secretary Moniz, will you help us please? Secretary Moniz, some integrity please. This is the long and sorry tale of WTP. Thank you. Now, if you're in a hole that's as deep and dark and big as that one, there's room for lots of examples. <laughs> this next example um, arises from a 2006 design failure that was called M3. And in a follow-on to that was an effort to try to show you can empty solids out of a big tank that doesn't have a bottom drain by filling it and emptying it and filling it and emptying it. And finally, someone in our group got frustrated and summarized that in just five words. Puff the magic heel remover. And the rest of the words just, you know, they kind of wrote themselves. Puff the magic heel remover lived at WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. I recall Frank Russo loved that rascal Puff and bought him pumps and access ports and other fancy stuff. Oh, Puff the magic heel remover lived at WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. Puff the magic heel remover lived at WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. Well, together they would travel on a quest with colored slides, making sure the sales pitch would distract the feuding sides. Technical leagues and ERTs would bow and ere they came. Defense board staff would hesitate when Puff joined in the game. Oh, Puff the magic heel remover lived in WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. Puff the magic heel remover lived in WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. Well, everyone loves concepts, but not a final design with its assumptions and assertions that must be verified. One gray night the project tried to quantify that heel, and they found the bubbler raised so high that safety said, get real. Up the magic heel remover lived in WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. Up the magic heel remover lived in WTP and frolicked in the vessels there in the land of post and three. Well, 
with design criteria missing The comments fell like rain Puff no longer went to play along the IP lane Without a detailed task, Puff could not be brave So Puff that heel remover sadly packed and slipped away Oh, but my story isn't over Because Puff's come back for more The project paid fee for closing M3 and there's rework paying more in T4 oh, Up the magic heel remover lived the WTP And frolicked in the vessels Then the land to post M3 Up the magic heel remover lived the WTP And frolicked in the vessels Then in the land of post M3 Now, you know, if you're, if you're on this journey through the hole with me, you know, a lot of times people will see all these symptoms and they'll wonder about what is the root cause and how did we get here and who has been digging this hole and why are we still digging it? And you might get to the point where you say, well, some humans just ain't human. Some humans ain't human Some people ain't kind You open up their hearts And here's what you find A few frozen pizzas Some ice cubes with hair broken popsicle you don't want to go there some humans ain't human though they walk like we do they live and they breathe just to get ahead of you they will cheat you when you're sleeping they will try to steal you blind Some humans ain't human Some people ain't kind You might go to church And sit down in a pew Those humans who ain't human talk about your family they will talk about your clothes when they don't know their backsides from their own elbows jealousy and stupidity don't equal harmony arrogance and stupidity don't equal harmony And have you ever noticed When you're feeling really good There's always some pigeon Come do stuff on your hood and when you're feeling your freedom And the world's off your back Here comes the manager's manager With a non-disclosure pact Some humans ain't human Some people ain't kind They will lie through their teeth with their head up there behind 
you open up their hearts and here's what you find some humans ain't human some people ain't kind thank you now about this time you know people are looking around and totting up the facts a little bit and you might think well it's time to go and ask an old friend for some sympathetic advice dear abby dear abby my feet are too long my hair is falling out and my rights are all wrong my friends they all tell me i've no friends at all won't you write me a letter won't you give me a call sign bewildered 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 you have no complaint you are what you are and you ain't what you ain't for bad luck and a knocking on wood Dear Abby, dear Abby my fountain pen leaks my spouse hollers at me my kids are all freaks Every side I get up on is the wrong side of bed If it weren't so expensive I'd wish I were dead Unhappy, well, unhappy, unhappy, you have no complaint. You are what you are, and you ain't what you ain't. So listen up, Buster, and listen up, good. Stop wishing for bad luck and a knocking on wood. Dear Abby, dear Abby, you won't believe this. But my stomach makes noises whenever I kiss My boyfriend tells me it's all in my head But my stomach tells me to write you instead Sign Noisemaker 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 You have no complaint You are what you are And you ain't what you ain't So listen up Buster And listen Stop wishing for bad luck and a knocking on the wood. Dear Abby, dear Abby, if the truth's to be told, my employee concern is 688 days old. I've had to stand by as this project augers in. Can you tell me if ever all this digging will end? Undaunted, 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 you have no complaint. You are what you are, and you ain't what you ain't. So listen up, sister, and listen up, good. Stop wishing for bad luck and a knocking on wood. Sign, dear Abby. Thank you. You know, it, it turns out that Abby was not a good fraud detector. Some years after this song was published, we were sitting at breakfast reading the newspaper, and someone had submitted several of the verses of this song, tongue-in-cheek to Abby and her staff, where they were treated with extreme care and diligence and seriousness. <laughs> so, you know, if the, if, if the advice thing is not working out for you, um, some folks might turn to a friend who has some serious and true spine, this next, this next song was written in 1940 by Woody Guthrie, and I was amazed to find that Woody Guthrie was an early pioneer of nuclear safety and quality culture. He was approached at the end of a concert by a woman who said, Mr. Guthrie, you have written all this wonderful music about work, but there's a problem, she said. There's a problem because all of the songs that you have written are about men, and you haven't written any songs about the work that women do. And Woody Guthrie did three things. He said, yes, I see there's a problem. He said, yes, I will do something about it. 
And I'm here with the objective evidence today because this is the song that he wrote. There once was a union mate who never was afraid of the goons and the ganks and the company fakes and the deputy sheriffs who made the raid. She went to the union hall when a meeting it was called. And when the company boys came around, she always stood her ground. Said, no, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. No, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Till the day I die. This union maid was wise. To the tricks of company spies She never got fooled by a company stool She always organized the guys She always got her way When she struck for higher pay She'd show her card to the company guard And this is what she'd say Said, no, you can't scare me I'm sticking to the union I'm sticking to the union I'm sticking to the union no, can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. You gals who want to be free, just take a little tip from me. Get you a man who's a union man. Have him join the husband's auxiliary. Cause married life ain't hard when you've got a union card. A union man has a happy life when he's got a union wife. Can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. No, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. Thank you. And now, you know, at this point, as the facts are kind of coming to the surface. A lot of folks would take, you know, just another look around and do an extent of condition and see how some people handle some of the other problems in the neighborhood. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. Oh. Well then fix it dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie, then fix it dear Willie, dear Willie, fix it. With what shall I fix it dear Liza, dear Liza, with what shall I fix it dear Liza, with what? With some straw, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie, with some straw, dear Willie, dear Willie, with some straw. The straw is too long, dear Liza, dear Liza, the straw is too long, dear Liza, too long. Well, then shorten it, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie, then shorten it, dear Willie, dear Willie, shorten it. With what shall I shorten it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what shall I shorten it, dear Liza? With what? With an axe, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie. With the axe, dear Willie, dear Willie. With the axe. The axe is too dull, dear Liza, dear Liza. The axe is too dull, dear Liza, too dull. Sharpen it, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie. Then sharpen it, dear Willie, dear Willie, sharpen it. With what shall I sharpen it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what shall I sharpen it, dear Liza? With what? With a stone, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie. With a stone, dear Willie, dear Willie, with a stone. The stone is too dry, 
dear Liza, dear Liza, the stone is too dry, dear Liza, too dry. Well, then wet it, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie, then wet it, dear Willie, dear Willie, wet it. With what shall I wet it, dear Liza, dear Liza, with what shall I wet it, dear Liza, with what? With the water, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie, with the water, dear Willie, dear Willie, with the water. And what shall I fetch it in, dear Liza, dear Liza, in what shall I fetch it, dear Liza, in what? In a bucket, dear Willie, dear Willie, dear Willie, in a bucket, dear Willie, dear Willie, in a bucket. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, a Well, you know, now that we have assembled all of the facts, I have only respect for those who have taken stock of things and decided that it's time to hand in their hammer. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Just tell him I'm gone. Just tell him I'm gone. If he asks you, was I running? If he asks you, was I running? If he asked you, was I running? Just tell him I was flying. Just tell him I was flying. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Just tell him I'm gone. Just tell him I'm gone. I don't want your old on shackle. I don't want your old on shackle. I don't want your old on shackle. It hurts my leg. It hurts my leg. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Take this hammer. Just tell him I'm gone. Thank you. And now that we are kind of finally up and over the edge of the hole, there's a lot more daylight. And if you look around, you may see that there's been some person who's been sitting next to you, listening to you complain, and at the same time, who has been encouraging you to do the right thing and to resist passivity. And maybe it's time to express a little bit of thanks and appreciation for those kind of people. There's not a pretty or a handsome that could hope to stand in place or hold a candle to the light I see shining from your face. What no random quirk of nature could ever compromise. The thing that makes you beautiful is in your eyes. Oh, the thing that makes you beautiful is in your eyes. Now some may prize the form of beauty that's been sized up by men Rated and rated on a scale from one to ten 
don't they know that there's no contest for the fairest of the fair? But the thing that makes you beautiful is beyond compare. Oh, the thing that makes you beautiful is beyond compare. And there are those who say that beauty is a flower of a day, but it blooms in youth only and with age will fade away. But more enduring than diamonds, more shining than gold, the thing that makes you beautiful cannot grow old. Oh, the thing that makes you beautiful cannot grow old. So if there's ever any question, if you're feeling dull and old, won't you let me be your mirror where the truth is always told? In the eye of this beholder, you're a bright and shining star. Well, the thing that makes you beautiful is just the way you are. The thing that makes you beautiful, the thing that makes you beautiful, the thing that makes you beautiful is just the way you are. Thank you. We got six minutes? Seven minutes. I'm going to try the hard one. <laughs> this song is about a rat who finds a new life as a French chef. Uh, this, is, this is from the soundtrack to the movie Ratatouille. It is by Michael Giacchino. Um, Mm, that's a good enough, I guess. Les rêves des amoureux sont comme les bons vins. Ils donnent de la joie au bien du chagrin. Affaibli par de fin, je suis malheureux. Ton chemin te saccage pas, car rien n'est gratuit dans la vie. L'espoir est un plat bien trop vite consommé, et sauter les repas, je suis habitué. En voleur solitaire et triste à nuit. Je suis un mère, je ne peux pas ici, car rien n'est gratuit dans la vie. Jamais on ne lui dira que la cause sur les toits, ça n'est pas pour moi. Laissez-moi vous émerveiller et prendre mon nom. Nous allons dans son du La fête d'enfants commençait. Sentez les bouteilles, fini les ennuis. Je dresse la table de ma nouvelle vie. Je suis sûr à l'idée de ce nouveau destin. Une vie à me cacher et puis les bonnes femmes. Fastonne sur mon chemin, une vie à me cacher, un cuir libre en forme. Fastonne sur mon chemin. Thank you. Good enough. All right, five minutes. One more. I heard this on the radio going home from work one day and going, how did I miss this when it came out? Last night I had a crazy dream. A wish was granted just for me. It could be for anything. 
I didn't ask for money or a mansion in Malibu. I simply wished for one more day with you. One more day, one more time, one more sunset. Maybe I'd be satisfied. But then again, I know what it would do. Leave me wishing still for one more day with you. First thing I do is pray every time to crawl. I'd unplug the telephone, keep the TV up. I'd hold you every second, say a million I love you. That's what I'd do with one more day with you. One more day, one more time, one more sunset. Maybe I'd be satisfied. But then again, I know what it would do. Leave me wishing still for one more day. Thank you.